Hey Clashes, since most people are not maxed out yet on Town Hall 16, the easy and the especially tanky troops are really really strong. So today we're going to combine 5 titans with 5 root riders. We're going to use as well the default equipment. So nothing too fancy right here. You can tell we don't really have like either like the gem thing or anything like just the default equipment. As well, if you have the fox already unlocked, use the fox and the diggy. For me, the fox right now is upgrading, so that's kind of then the second option which you should go for with the lizard on the warden and then the diggy on the royal champion. But Let's dive in and let's see how well this works, especially with those non-max bases. Let's go with our first attack. We have a Town Hall 16 with no new defensive level. So this is kind of like a Town Hall uh, 15 overall. Why do we have certain stuff in our army composition? The Earthquake spell is to make sure that we're opening up walls a bit quicker with the, uh, with the Lock Launcher, especially if there is no defense in the second layer. And well, then we have the Skeleton spells, obviously to tank to tank stuff for my troops because especially the monolith is really really a big threat. So what we're going to do is always two on the outside, two of the root riders, two titans on the outside. Same thing on the opposite side to create a funnel. Next thing, skeleton spell for us to distract. And then more root riders, just like that. Block launcher, heroes, everything. I will use the earthquake early so we're getting into the base as quickly as we can. And with that we should have already a really really solid push going on early on. Next one, poison for the defensive clan castle, looking amazing. We can rage at this point if we want to, but for now I don't think that we should. Let's try to distract the defending queen. Let's use that freeze right there. And we can rage in just a second to get further into the tunnel direction. Warner Blitz right now, I think that's a decent timing. Not the best, not the worst. That queen is really hiding behind that wall. That water... That's not nice of that queen, whatever. Now another rage, making sure that we're freezing this because the tunnel is supposed to go down. That would be really, really good. Come on, Titan, make that work, queen. Return to the Titan invisible. No, we don't have to. Tunnel is going down and that's amazing for us. Now Royal Champ on the far right side. We should have some spells to support everything, so that should be all right, hopefully. But with the troops splitting quite a bit, this might be more problematic than we would have liked to. But for now, not looking too bad. We can still freeze. We can still turn invisible. What are we going to do next? I think we're turning that Royal Champ invisible for now. Come on. We have the King now. Going strong. Let's go for that freeze. Royal Champ ability for some Tesla. Let's go. And that should be it. And as I said, as soon as those defensive are not maxed out, you can tell the power is just a little bit too much for the defenses to handle. At the same time, you can tell already as well that if this base would have been maxed out, this would have been obviously not a three star. Even though I have pretty much maxed out offense, except the equipment, I have not leveled that upgrade that well. But overall, like offense wise, troops, spells, hero level itself are all maxed out. So with that being said, it's an incredible good defense and simple um, it's an incredible, uh, sorry, it's an incredible good offense and a really, really easy offense as well for the beginning of the Tunnel 16 update. Let's keep going. Next base. We have the next base right here. What are we going to go in with? I feel like the Eagle is always a really high priority because the Eagle is a really big threat to our troops because they like to stack up. And that's never a good thing for us. Another thing is we have the monolith really isolated with no splash around it, which should make a really easy skeleton spell for us to distract it. So I think we should just go in as usual, like the two troops right here, like the two root riders. Then we have the two right here. We're going to have the king, lock launcher, everything going like that. More root riders, titan and so on, like looking good already. We're going to use the earthquake to open everything a bit quicker. We have the super minion on the defensive clan castle, which is totally all right. Let's raise things up. Warning abilities to protect us from all of the damage, which is, right, uh, which is right now happening. King abilities, so it's pushing my queen further into the middle of the base, which would be amazing. Come on, root riders, where are you going, guys? Let's freeze that. So we can add the royal champ here as well. And we can already start with the distracting of the back end. Let's freeze that, let's freeze that. So we get the town hall. And the town hall should go down with our Yeti and Titan clan castle. And then we still have the back end, or for the back end, those skeleton spells to distract everything. The town hall is down. That's our biggest objective right now. And we'll just keep putting those skeleton spells on top of the monolith. And that heavy hitting defense is not doing anything to all of our troops, which is amazing for us. Again, Royal Champ uh, coming in. 
really, really good for us. We have Sealer Freeze, we have an Invisibility. So we have so many small supportive spells, which is just a huge, huge deal for us. And with that, Royal Champability, we should get another 3 down, and that's exactly what we want to go for. And again, it's just a, such a simple approach, which I can just really heavily recommend to everyone who's right now maybe struggling with like more complicated attacks with blimps and all of that stuff. But with this approach, in the beginning, it's super simple and straightforward. As well, I have seen a lot of people are asking for what is the best equipment right now on Town Hall 15, Town Hall 16, wherever you are. Well, let me answer that quickly because I am right now saving my resources because Supercell has told us in one of their teaser videos that very, very soon after the Town Hall 16 update, we would have, well, epic equipment as well in the game and based on their teasers those equipment just look insanely strong way stronger than the common equipment which we have right now so what i want to do is i want to save my resources to be able to upgrade those early on get them as highly upgraded because those can be upgraded to level 27 in a max stadium so overall i want to go for those and that's why i highly recommend everyone do not use your resources just yet wait for that and with that you should be always on the safer side as well i will make sure that i have an equipment guide for you guys out there um which means like what are the top three equipments for each hero and what are the equipments you should upgrade but for now let's just save the resources and let's keep going with our strategy we have our next base this time around an invest tower and a poison tower and we have already one of those well one of those cannons i'm Looking forward to that. So how do we approach this one? I feel like going in from the far side completely is not working that well. Maybe we're just going to go in from this cannon to get that out of the window as early as possible. As well, we do not really have... We don't really have any really single target damage which we could distract with our uh, skeleton spell. Maybe here the warden. Maybe that might be a good thing to do. Especially with those testa. This might be some nice value we could get there so that's what we're going to do another thing what we're going to do is run right here then again like that and then we're going to distract that queen as well so make sure that we're getting all of the value needed with that being said lock launcher in earthquake early to open that compartment really quick with the logs and make sure that we get all of the pathing which is necessary for us and open all of those compartments with the logs one more log and we're good to go into the base that's amazing headhunters are getting logs away so they're safe to go down the invest tower is getting triggered which is awesome i forgot to place my warden which was not intentional but it's okay and now we have our troops slowly making their way towards the town hall which is looking really good for us if they're going there let's see what's going to happen warning ability maybe now yes i think warning ability right there was amazing because i'm not sure where my troops are going i'm not sure where they're going that's always the bad thing or like the risky thing let's put it that way um with those with those root riders you never know where they're going it's like always big question mark if they're going for the direction you want them to go or if they're going completely wrong it's always this really really unsafe thing let's freeze that quickly top side not looking to get this uh, good this time around though maybe let's see if we can still carry around with our queen or Unicorn is keeping her alive right now. Roger ability. Okay. Do we have enough power? We have one freeze. Is that going to be enough? We have a double cannon and stuff. It won't be easy. Not gonna lie. It won't be easy. We have to be ready if there's any traps. Okay. Not for now. Wow. That is going to be a really, really tricky thing. I have to freeze the double cannon. I feel like that's the highest damage output on the back end. I won't make my Royal Champ. Like, I don't think that my Royal Champ is going to survive, which is kind of bad. Queen obviously going for a wall, so this could be, in the end, a fail. Or you see already, like, as soon as one of those, um... As soon as you have one of those defense already, this is going to be actually a difference. But in the end, it's going to be a time fail, it looks like. The troops, but the warning ability was too early for a fact because I thought my troops would go for the eagle, but instead they redirected and went for the town hall. So this means it's going to be my first fail of the day with this strategy, but it's only one archer tower which is alive, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. It's okay, but we have one more attack to do and see if we can get yet another three star and make sure that, well, 
get some more trophies in because usually this is a legend. I want to get all of those possible trophies in which are somehow achievable. With that being said, let's dive for it. 93% two star and only time not being on our side. This time we have a base where the town hall is on the complete opposite side. So let's take all the risk and somehow go in from the opposite side of this town hall. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the town hall. With that being said, let's move in. Where do we have for multi fern towers? We have no multi fern towers. So skeleton spells are going to be a huge game changer. Still, I will use one in the beginning to make sure that the warden is not dealing as much damage to our root riders. And we even have a Tesla farm right there. That is fine. Now the two root riders right here. Looking good again with the Titans to funnel. And then the remaining root riders in between with a lock launcher, with Titan, King, Warden, everything in there. With that being said, I hope that we can make it all the way to the other side, which is going to be quite... Uh, ambitious but let's make it somehow work let's rage it up let's get our troops all the way right now they're not really following my lead because uh oh boy that giant bomb will hurt but we should have the earthquake if we want to um to get my troops back into the middle part Root rights are going there which is awesome they should open up the walls for us and for our queen king just a bit of seat right there then we make sure that uh, then we have to make sure that we're keeping troops alive. Let's use the first skeleton spell right here. Queen. Right, poison for the defending queen and my own queen going there as well. Skeleton spell distracting everything, which is perfect. Now the earthquake around the town hall. Not only opening up the walls, but as well overall. I think that should be a nice thing. Warden ability now. Get our troops there. And maybe just add the royal chairman there as well. Back and freeze. Just like that. Looking good, I think. Okay, my king going down is not good whatsoever. I should have frozen that most likely, but we'll be alright. So, let's freeze that. Let's freeze the king, I guess. Maybe I should have just turned the king invisible. I think I should just... Sh At this point, it doesn't really matter, right? Let's just turn that invisible. Like, freeze that. Yeah, it's going to be a triple. Like, this strategy is just so overwhelming for the non-max defenses. It is really, really nice to get those three stars in. And with that being said, everything worked out perfectly, especially with the root riders redirecting, getting our troops into the town hall. And well, another nice three star. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't worry, there's going to be more queen shots and other stuff, guys, in the future and over the next couple of days. I so hope that all of those people out there who like to approach those spaces with simple strategies, you will have a blast. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.